Good day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. It's 20 to 11 on the 16th of August. So we're in the bushfire danger season, but as we've established on a previous video, this is a permitted burn. The reason I'm showing it to you is this is burn number 30. It follows burn 29 and burn 29 was on pretty much the same country on Thursday. Today's Saturday. Burn 29 and 30 are both on the green inclusion zone inside what was originally burn number 12. On Thursday night, I had to start late. Didn't get around to lighting up till oh, half past five, quarter to six, because I didn't want to light up at the regular time of four o'clock, because that's when my next door neighbour was going looking for his errant sheep. Yeah. That will probably burn for a while. There's leaves packed in around an old hollow log in what was a windrow. But I don't think I'm going to bother carting any water to that because the forecast is there's somewhere between 25 and 75 millimetres of rain is due. And let's face it, if this was too wet to burn six weeks ago and we haven't had any rain all month, it would take at least another two or three weeks of dry weather following this forecast rain before this particular patch would be in a condition to burn. Here we see an old box tree. Can you believe a little man pay me I think I might have got ten dollars for that. 120 years growth of a box tree. He got one strainer post out of it and paid me ten dollars. Sustainable forestry, I don't think. But anyway, yeah, that's off topic. On topic is 30 burns. 30 days I have mixed up my drip torch fuel. And I've gone out there with one lid with a hole in it that is stored on the handle. A bit of red tape on the handle, so if I put it down, I can find it again, because the second burn I did, I lost the, no, the third burn. I lost the uh, igniter while changing bottles. But yeah, pretty pleased with that. It's roughly 30 days in a month, you know, between 28 and 31. And uh, there's 12 months in the year. So I've burnt on 8% of the days in a year already. And I think I've covered about seven acres. It was 6.702 before I got into all the stuff inside the big inclusion zone running up the gully. And I've just put the worst of it to bed. So yeah, seven acres, which is 7% of the land I pay rates on, and it's taken 8% of a year to burn 7% of the country. So if only I could burn, say, 15 or 20 acres a year, I could get through it in almost five years, couldn't I? Then it'd be time to start again. And that may be why when the elders of the local tribe took me under their wing that 20, 25 years ago and started explaining whatever I could take in at the time about the way Aborigines ran the country. They tried to stress time and time again that the Aborigines were always burning. You know, the European archaeologists and sociologists might have the theory that blackfellas worked for two hours per person per day in order to obtain all the necessities of life, you know, food, shelter and clothing. And for 
20 odd years I swallowed that, had the idea that the other 22 hours a day were for sleeping and socialising and philosophising and, and carving stuff for trade or whatever. But I think probably five days a week the Aborigines burnt off and the sociologists haven't paid nearly sufficient attention to that. The way it was put to me was the reason nobody ever tried to come to Australia was any time the Maoris or the people from New Guinea or from Asia had come to Australia and as soon as they saw the land they'd see the smoke cloud and they thought it was a land that was always on fire. Of course the bloke who told me that came from inland New South Wales so whether it was a story handed down to him from back in the days when Aborigines travelled all over Australia on trade routes, you know, taking pitchery and tidgery from New South Wales to Darwin to get quartz axes. I don't know. But anyway, that was burn 30. And it is now starting to rain. As you can see. And sunfoil is wet with rain. The skies are grey and cloudy and now I will split wood and sit in the hut and stay warm because I have tempted fate. I have got two wheelbarrows full of cut wood ready to split. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.